in this video, we are going to talk about the one thing you need to know in order to heal the fearful avoidant attachment style faster. I am Valine and I am so happy you are here because I am so committed and dedicated to giving you all the tools you need to heal the fearful avoidant attachment style, but I'm always thinking of ways to make it go faster for you or make it easier for you. And I'm not saying this is like a trick or it's going to be just a walk in the park. It's hard. It's really hard. But this might just help you um, and will definitely accelerate your healing if you really know this and feel it in your body. So the one thing you need to know in order to heal the fearful avoidant attachment self faster is the fact that it wasn't you. It wasn't you. And this is really, really important. So hear me out because when I was healing my fearful avoidant attachment style, there were so many moments I just felt myself holding back in healing for a number of reasons. But one of the very big ones was that I was convinced that this was just who I am and this was just what I had to deal with. So those were beliefs like I am a bad person. I'm just bad at relationships. I just don't get it. I'm always behind. I'm not interesting. I'm too much. I'm too dramatic. And the most important one that I really want to touch on today is I'm sensitive. I am too sensitive. I'm a drama queen. And <clears throat> I, I see this so much in um, the people that are going through my Dutch program, Healing the Fearful, um, Avoidant Attachment Style. And um, they just at one point almost like give up and say, well, th this is just who I am. And um, it, it maybe it was me. May I was a difficult child. And I want you to know from the depths of my soul and your soul <laughs> that that is not true. That is just not true. I know I don't know you and I know your fear brain might be saying, yeah, but well, if Pauline really knew me, she'd know. No, I don't know you, but I know for sure it wasn't you. You were a child. You were perfect as you are. You were doing things a child does that are completely normal and probably very <laughs> developmentally correct <laughs> and your parents didn't know or your caregivers and they couldn't handle it and because you're so dependent on your parents you develop this sense of identity that you are sensitive that it's just it's you you are the difficult one not the fact that your parents can't handle it, that they never got the tools and they don't have that emotional maturity to handle your emotions, to handle your being a child. And of course, children are different, but in no universe are you or have you been a bad child. Your parents were just not equipped to, to give you the love and support you needed in the way you needed it. And that had nothing, nothing, nothing to do with you. It really had nothing to do with you. And I know you might be thinking, but I really was manipulative as a child. I did lie. I, I was an angry child. Like I, I did things that were wrong and I knew they were wrong. But please see that in a context because when you grow up and for instance, you are not always believed when you have emotions or you have fears or you have needs that you want to be met and your caregiver is always kind of like scoping out whether what you say you want or the emotions you have are real or manipulative and i'm doing the really annoying thing because all emotions are real and all needs are legitimate and once as a parent you start trying to divide some emotions as just wanting attention or just whining and not take them seriously try to see that from the perspective of a child you just you just express whatever you have inside you in the way that is comfortable or is possible for you at that moment and it could be that um, you did it in a way that was triggering to your parent that interpreted that as being manipulative, as wanting attention. Just imagine that happening a few times. You 
were not aware of doing that because no child just out of themselves just starts doing uh, manipulative things that, that really really does not happen uh, but when a parent sees that and doesn't meet your need ignores you scolds you um is mean to you in, in whatever way it gets angry with you imagine what that does in your little child brain i am completely dependent on my parent and they are not taking me seriously i have to express my needs in a very specific way because otherwise they might not be met and i might die and that might sound dramatic but you are that dependent on your parent so what do you do then you are going to adjust whatever you say and do in a way that you are trying to get 100% certainty that your parent will respond. So you will make it bigger. You will um, make it more intense because you want to be heard. You need to be heard. You need to be taken seriously. So what happens and what develops are actually manipulative tactics because your parent is looking for uh, manipulation and and judges that as as wrong or right and as a means to um, see whether they are going to meet your needs or not. It is so interesting to me in doing this work that I I notice again and again that the the fears that parents have and the things they focus on in the negative is what develops in a child. So where you have that feeling that it really, it, it just was me. I was a difficult child. I was too sensitive or I was manipulative and I was mean and I, I did lie. Um, chances are, and I'm going to say chances because nothing is black and white, but it's actually like almost 100% that your parent was actually focused on what behavior is real or not, what behavior is manipulative and or not, which developed a manipulative way of getting your needs met from you but still it wasn't you so what is that was quite a rant there <laughs> uh, I just realized but what is really important here is that you know and you feel in every fiber of your being that it really 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 was not you i know your parents probably meant well you you could have had a, a number of different childhood experiences um but maybe your parents really did mean well and you can see that and that's why you think well they love me and they did so much for me so i'm just ungrateful if i think that it all has to do with them and i'm not saying you have to blame your parents for everything but I'm, all I'm asking is for you to see it in the perspective that they did not have the emotional tools or maturity to give you the love and support and stability and consistency and safety that you needed. It's not about blame. It's really not about blame. But once you decide that you are not going to blame your parents, which is just normal childlike loyalty, everybody has that. But this is a this can be a very big turning point in your healing process when you see that not wanting to acknowledge that your parents really did make mistakes and it really wasn't you um, makes you take the blame for everything and that halts your healing process because when you believe that you are a bad person and that you are manipulative you will not allow yourself to heal because you are afraid that if you heal if you let go of all those protection mechanisms that you developed you will hurt other people because you're a bad person because you're manipulative because you're so bad because you're uh, too dramatic or too sensitive so you are protecting others in a way by believing that it's all you but what this does is that it uh, forces you or it, it um, makes you go into a shame spiral every time that gets triggered and that makes you retreat from the world and not engage and not um, seek out connection. And that's what we want to heal because you are worthy of connection. And that's why it's so important to know that it wasn't you. 
it was not you it wasn't your fault you did nothing wrong you were not a bad child you really weren't and you are not a bad person now even if you develop manipulative tactics those were not things that you were born with you develop those you can choose to not do them again and you can heal the wounds that cause you to do them you are worthy of being heard you are worthy of being seen and the fact that that didn't happen in your childhood does not say anything about your worth i really want you to know that it wasn't you nothing none of the negative beliefs that you have about yourself have been true were true and are things you have to carry the rest of your life and have to deal with and have to uh, uh, seek ways around just to protect other people or make sure you that you don't get abandoned you are exactly right you are exactly right and you are worthy of everything you are worthy of healing for you to feel better to feel more free but it really wasn't you and chances are that you have actually been through a lot of emotional manipulative tactics, emotional abuse in a way. And I know that the, the first time I really realized this, that actually my both my parents, who are amazing people and are really loving in their, in their own way, and I, I have and had a really close bond with, they were actually both very emotionally abusive, uh, manipulative and which is a form of abuse and i had no idea because at other times they could be so loving and they they did everything for me and it was clear that they loved me and so i thought it was me it was my fault i was difficult in some way i instigated this and it's not true so when you really realize all the ways i mean there are so many ways that you can be emotionally manipulated, emotionally abused. And it's quite confronting to see that. And it's so freaking liberating because as I found that out and I found it out that my parents did that, I could start setting, uh, could start setting boundaries, um, which made my relationship with my parents so much better, uh, which started some really nice conversations after I healed, so you don't need that for healing. But also in the rest of my life, I started putting up boundaries that I should have for a long time, but I didn't because I thought it was me. And putting up boundaries in and of itself is healing. But I just noticed when I really, when I really embraced and accepted the fact that it really wasn't me, I might just be a normal, a normal person. I might just be worthy of love, just the way I am, that really accelerated my healing. Because it was like, this is, this is not mine. This is not mine. This is not mine. I can just let all of this go. I can let this belief go. I can let this tactic go. I can let this protection mechanism go. Maybe I'm just good enough, just the way I am. And it took me a while to feel that. But just realizing that, that maybe I'm, I'm just like other people. Because what emotional abuse does, a lot of the time um, is shaming and shaming divides you from other people there's another word for that separates you from other people and so you feel lonely and you feel different then and you feel weird and you feel like you don't deserve and all of that is not true um, so when you realize that it really wasn't you and all those manipulative tactics and the emotional abuse that you have endured really weren't your fault they even weren't really your parents fault because they just did as they were taught it's nobody's fault but it's not yours to carry it's not yours to to find a way around to wrestle with to fight for to to keep around just to make sure that you don't hurt other people you are good as you are you are perfect as you are so just to drive the point home one last time, it really was not you in every single way. And I want you, even if it's just for the next week, every single time you have a, a, a negative belief, a negative thought, just think, wow, it really wasn't me. Every time you have a memory from when you were younger and, and you did things, it really wasn't me. I just did what I, what I could as a kid to survive. 
and I was I was perfect as I was as a kid and my parents just weren't equipped and that's sad that really is sad but that's just what it is it wasn't me all right I, let me know if this is an eye-opener for you if you can feel it if it's just like okay well maybe that's true but I'm gonna think about it let me know in the comments below I would love to hear that and find more videos on my channel all 